If you're looking for a small portable heater to warm up your room or office, I think I got a couple for you. Let's talk about it. All right, Buzz, now we have two products right here from Dreo. They have their two small portable um, space heaters. Now, when I say portable, they do have wires. When I say portable, it's just easy to move around and take place. If you want to take it to your office, use it at the office, bring it back home, or just move it around the house. Like I've been moving these around uh, my apartment a lot. It's just real easy to do and takes up less space. All right, when it comes to these two portable space heaters, you're gonna be looking at um, $40 for this one. It does not rotate, there is no rotating base on this one. Or you're gonna be looking at $50, but I have seen this on sale for $45 um, more recently when I was getting the prices for this. Um, as you see, this one does have a rotating base, so it will swivel and um, you know have more of an area that it will cover. And this one's just more of a straight on area. So. Um, or straight on to hit certain areas of what you want. So this will be $40 and this one will be $50 or $45 when it's discounted. And I'll put the links for both of these down in the description below. And if I get any discount codes or anything like that, I'll put that down in the description below as well. And when you guys do click the, you know, the Amazon links down there, I do get a little commission from it from Amazon for sending you over there. It comes out of their pocket, not yours. So I really do appreciate the support if you guys click those. So when it comes to the wattage for, um, the space heaters, you're going to be looking at uh, 1500 for both. They they're both have the same amount of wattage. And just a room thought, you know, I always, when I run my space heaters, I like to keep it on an isolated outlet. I don't share the, the outlet with a space heater with nothing else. It's just the space heater by itself, uh, just to be on the safe side, you know. And But they are both going to be uh, 1500 wattage for both of these. So first, let's talk about, you know, this one right here and let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with this portable one right here. So with this one, it is the smaller size and out of their whole line, this is the more budget friendly one. They both are, you know, one's 50, but this is the lowest one at 40. And it's really, um, really, really small. As you can see, it's, and it looks nice. I like the design of this. I like the little uh, ceramic uh, casing that it has around it. But I, just the design just looks more modern. It looks like it'll fit. I have a black entertainment center, so this would just fit on there and look um, like it fits in perfectly. It's not too big, you know, not that noticeable at all um, on your setup. So I do like the look of this. So, all right, so let's talk about the functions on this one. When it comes to the functions on this space heater right here, uh, you will be able to switch to three different modes on here. It's like a heat mode or a heat power mode is basically, it'll say like H1, two or three. It's just like three different, you know, um, levels of, you know, heat and a fan, basically make sure that's put, pumping out a little bit more. And then also they have just the regular fan mode if you just want it on the fan mode. And also they have um, the eco mode, which is the one I use. And it lets you set the temperature of the room and where you want it at. So you can drop it all the way down to, I, I, man, I can't remember, was it 41 and all the way up to 95? I believe that's where it was. So it lets you drop in those different, um, different ranges of where you want it. I kept mine on the um, preset 85. Um, that's where i really liked it at so i do like the eco mode and like all the different um temperatures that you can adjust to on this one right here this one does have a child uh, lock on here you'll see a lock it's a little child protect lock and it does have um like an overheat protection on it and then it says like a you know a tip over fall over protection as well that they say they have on this one um also because it's so small and like it, it could easily just get bumped and stuff so they got like protections for that um, and you can um, have a timer on this as well up to 12 hours so you can set it for one so if you're like all right I'm gonna go to sleep I'm set it to one hour and it'll cut off and you know if I get coding in the middle of the night turn it back on for another hour so you do have that so you don't have to worry about getting up to turn it off later on it does have a timer on it all right so we got this one right here like I said this is the $50 one so the $10 jump or if you find it on discount for 45 now this one does have the swivel on it so this is the swiveling one it will you know spin you know like 70 degrees or something like that and also this one comes in white so if you're in your house your room or any of that has more of the white tone compared to the black one um the white looks really clean i like the way the white looks i only seen it online but that white looks pretty cool check that one out so let's talk about the modes on this one the modes are pretty much the same they have you know the fan mode the high power mode you can go you know h1 two or three and then also they have um the same um just fan mode and also they have the eco mode which lets you you know do you know 41 degrees or up to 95 degrees so just like the other one um i don't believe this one has the child protect on it um but um the, there is the timer on here 
So the timer is the same. You can set it up for an hour to 12 hours. So basically the setups for both of these are basically the same when it comes to this. Um, it's just like with this one, you're gonna get the child protect mode and, and they both are like, you know, tip protection and overheat protection, like tipping. Um, so you're gonna be fine with that. So this one has the child protect mode, but this one you're gonna get the swivel on it. So those are the two like different things that one and the other doesn't have. But when it comes to the modes and stuff, they fairly are basically the same. Oh, one thing I do wanna pin, oh, slide in here before I forget. This one does come with the remote. You can control um, this, um, space heater with this remote so i just want to throw that in there before i forgot this one does come with a remote and the other one does not all right we got all the functions and all that stuff out of the way so let's talk about just you know the use case and me testing these out and how it was so if you guys don't know if you guys been following me or if you're new here i'm from california and and these came at the right time because it's been raining nonstop. it's been cold gusty and you know basically san diego's been flooding if you guys seen on the news i'm pretty sure you guys heard about that or seen it by now i'm not too far from san diego so yeah so these came at the right time it's been very cold out here now these came at the right time because we probably got another month of this in cali and it probably won't rain again until december or next year so that's how it is out here but these were perfect and when it comes to like rooms and warming up these really did the job i really did like everything they did the room i'm in now is a very small room i stay in an apartment this is um one of the smaller rooms in my apartment this is the you know the youtube office slash gaming room so with this one the small space heater was perfect in here already it gets warm in here from the two pc setups you know mine and my wife's so we had this in here we ran like 30 minutes had to turn it off it started getting hot in here so this did the job in uh, this type of room now you guys are a lot of you guys are in way colder climates than i am you know a lot of you know in the midwest and stuff it gets very cold um, i'm sure this would do the job it might take a little bit longer for a smaller room now when we get to the living room a much bigger space this is the one i was going with like i said i had it on our kitchen island and it'll just swivel towards the living living room from the island so this was starting to warm up the room um a good amount you could feel it now i always set my timer for an hour on both of these like this one i unplug like within 30 minutes because it gets hot in here but this one i set on a timer I always set them on a timer for an hour to see how it feels and want to test it out for you guys you can feel the difference um, right away now it's not burning hot in here or nothing it just feels like a good temperature to just walk around in shorts and like that's good enough for me so some of you guys like i said climates you might have to run that a little bit longer now there was times when i did run both of these i have one in the dining room pointing towards the living room and this one would be on the island swiveling um towards the living room and when they were both on then you can really start feeling like it's warming up in here and it was only an hour i, ne I never really went past an hour with these when i was testing them because i'm pretty sure it'll make a lot of places warmer when it was on longer i want to see how you know warm it'll get and within the hour and it every time it nailed it and it was really good so i really do like the portability of these because you know right when i use i'll use one i'll take it into another room take it to another room and that's what i'll do um, my my bedroom never felt too cold or i needed to set it up in there by then, it's like I'm ready, you know, I'm already super tired. I'm getting on the cover to knock it out anyway. Um, I never got to that point. And, um, but if you guys are, like I said, you can set your um, your space heater up for one or two hours, either before you're about to get into bed or, you know, you can run it before you're about to get in bed, set it for an hour while you get in the bed and then it'll cut off, you know, you'll be good to go. Um, so, but it feels like it was doing really great. I did like it. I really did enjoy it. I'm definitely about to give one of these to my parents. Um, they're going to like this as well. Instead of running the heater all the time, they can just have this on in the room that they're in. And definitely, if you guys want, do want to save some money, you know, it is running at that uh, 1,500 watts. But it's better than running the heater for the whole house. And most of the room is not even going to be in for the day, you know. we all been there. Me and my wife are normally in this gaming room all the time or in the living room. We never go in our bedroom until we go to sleep. So having a heater on in there, you know, basically running the whole house, you know, going to the bathrooms, all this place, like you really don't need them. You could just have the space heater in the room that you're in. And when you guys switch rooms, bring, you know, small portable space heater, take it to the next room. So there you have it, buds. Um, I really do like these things. Um, I do like how it just makes the, you know, the room so warm in a small um, period of time, especially smaller rooms. And, um, like I said, it's portable, so you can just take these to work. If you're at a warehouse, 
you know, it's always cold in your office there or wherever you're working at. This is something you just take it with you when you come back home, bring it back home, use it at home and just keep going through that cycle. So it's a nice option to have that and definitely, you know, saving some money instead of running the AC. And like I said, having it in a whole bunch of rooms, you're not even in, you can just have the space heater, you know, run for like an hour to warm up the room that you're in all the time. So um, I really do like that. Um, and I do like these options. My favorite is the one that rotates, but this bad boy was doing damage as well in this um, gaming room. So um, whatever your, your flavor is. But there you have it, Buzz. If you guys want to check this out, like I said, I put the links down in the description below. And if there's any discount codes or anything I get for you guys, I put that down there as well. And if you guys like this video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. Um, and as always, thank you to all my subscribers. I really do appreciate the support. And I'll see all of you in my next video. Ugh, my name is Rodney. This was Wanna Buy. And as always, go Gators. Peace.